Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about use a graph to locate local maxima and local minima. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. So if you remember from the previous video here, we talked about increasing, decreasing, a constant. We noticed we said at the peaks and the valleys, we had that, those constants. So we can see that here on that graph where it's increasing, decreasing, then increasing. But notice when we go from increasing and decreasing, we have what we call a local maxima. And then we go decreasing to increasing at the bottom there, we have what we call a local minimum, okay? And that's gonna happen here with local max and local mins. A local max is when we go from increasing, decreasing, local minimums, decreasing to increasing. And that means within some region, some region there, we have either the largest, highest value or the lowest value of the y values there, okay, within that region. And notice we say a local, not the absolute highest, right, because our function goes on forever. There it goes on forever down to negative infinity. But in some local region, then we have our maximum. So this, this graph here really shows here what a local maximum looks like. Our function is increasing as we go to the right, and then hit the local maximum, then it starts decreasing. So when we go from increasing to then decreasing on a function, we hit that local maximum, and vice versa, we'll hit a local minimum. So let's go through a definition here. A function, or for local minimum and local maximum. A function f is an increasing function on an open interval if f of b is greater than f of a for any two input values a and b, if the given interval where b is greater than a. A function f is a decreasing function on an open interval if f of b is less than f of a for any two input values a and b in the given interval where b is greater than a. Lastly, a function f has a local maximum at x equals b if there exists an interval a to c with a is less than b which is less than c such that for any x in the interval a of c, or a comma c, f of x is less than or equal to f of b. Likewise, f has a local minimum at x equals b if there exists an interval a comma c with a less than b, which is less than c, such that for any x in the interval a comma c comma f of x is greater than or equal to f of b. All right, I know that might have been a little confusing uh, if what you see really is just from that graph from earlier and that made sense to you power to you, just go with that, okay? Okay, number six, we're given this function, f of x equals two over x plus x over three, okay? And we can graph that function here. We wanna use this graph to estimate the local extrema of our function and determine the intervals in which the function is increasing. So what we wanna do again here, we're trying to find the local extrema, okay? Or to estimate it from the graph, and see where the function is increasing, okay? All right, so local extrema, what are we looking at here? So we look at our graph, and we see that somewhere between, all right, let's go the, the one on the bottom first, left to right, from, well, hmm, between negative three and negative two, looks like there's a peak there, and then it goes back down. So, looks like we have, it goes from increasing and decreasing, so that would be a local maximum, local maximum, right, local max there, and that's somewhere between, between x is negative three and x equals negative two. And sometimes for our graph, we can't uh, visually see exactly where it happens. We know it's somewhere there. Well, what about the local min? Okay, local minimum. Well, similarly, it looks like it's coming down. It looks like there's a a local minimum somewhere between, between, I guess put the word between here, between x equals two and x equals three. It's somewhere there, I hope you can see that from the graph, but it's somewhere there, okay? So how can we find specifically where the, 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 the maximum value is, minimum value is? Well, we can use a graphing utility, okay? There's online programs that you can just go place equation in and you can go find it. You can find it on your, if you have a TI calculator, there's a function there for it. But 
what we see here from our functions and graph you can see right there they estimate that the actual local max is at the point okay um, the local max I'll put it here is estimated at and pretty precisely negative two point four four nine four nine one and negative one point six three two nine nine three and that's the coordinate point there of that local max local min and you probably won't have to uh, use all those decimal places right you probably just rounded a couple and so i'll do that in this one here local min is at x equals 2.45 okay rounding there uh, two decimal places and then 1.63 okay a positive 1.63 and that's our local min there okay the exact location actually happens at square root of six plus or minus square root of six okay but um that's something later on to find that algebra uh, algebraically you can find that absolutely the exact value which is in decimals okay all right so let's go dive into another graph here and we'll analyze the local mins and maxes All right, so number nine here, we want to find all local maxima and minima of this graph. So again, we see we have a graph that kind of goes, looks like it's going down, then back up, and then down. So we clearly have a local maximum and a local minimum. So let's look at the first thing here, okay? Where do we find, let's go left to right, a local minimum? Okay, what do we notice? Well, it goes from when it's decreasing to increasing the first value there, and that looks like it occurs at negative two, right? When x is negative two, we can see right there. So x equals negative, or sorry, negative one, excuse me, okay. at negative one. So at negative one, uh, we have a local minimum, and that occurs at the point, uh, comma, the point, the coordinate point there is negative one, comma, negative two, okay? But a lot of times we just need to refer to, let's say, the x value, but if you, so if you refer to one value, it's just going to be the x value, but if you want to put a whole coordinate point, that's negative 1, comma, negative 2, and that's where that local minimum happens. What about a local max? Okay, local maximum. Well, so look at the graph. Where is it going then? So at negative 1, it goes from uh, decreasing to increasing, so we keep going, and now it's going from increasing to then decreasing. Okay, and that happens at x equals one right there. So the coordinate point there is one comma positive two. Okay, the y value is two. So our local max happens at one comma two. And there we go. Okay, we found our local min and local max of this graph. If this video was helpful for you and you learned something about how to find a local maximum and local minimum, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com